Hi guys! Today I wanted to show you how I repurposed my lounge chairs. We ended up getting some new lounge chairs, ones that don't have cushions, that get wet and need covers. So I wanted to show you what I did with the old ones. As I was about to drag them to the curb, I realized if I flipped them over, I could make them into raised beds. So I've gone ahead and done that, and while we had our Tree re trees removed. I asked them to fill them with wood chips and then I put some soil on top. And I only put a very little bit of soil. And they don't look like much. Right now I'm kind of building soil. Let me show you what I've done. I thought about just leaving them alone and letting them sit and kind of break down the wood chips. I have one over here too. It's in the shade. Let me show you. But I decided why not try to plant it, and I bought some distressed plants which were dying at Lowe's anyway. And I put them in and they seem to love it. There must be just enough soil that they can grow. And the other thing I did was scatter some marigold seeds. These are the marigolds. And look, this one even has a set of leaves here. And I also put in some lentils which will act as a green manure and add some biomass, some nitrogen. So um, that is how I am building this soil. And I thought the more I plant in it, the more root balls I'll have with dirt on it. So, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll develop over the next couple of years and look a lot better than this. But this was a no man's land, guys. This had nothing going on on the side. Kind of some messy Vinca Major. It's a pretty variegation, but it does have a messy growing habit. But now I can have two raised beds of flowers. I may even try pumpkins, but um, I'm probably going to choose zinnias. This is open to deer browse. It's not in a fenced-in area. But I am so delighted that I found another use for these chairs. And they were looking quite shabby as chaise lounges, but they look great as a raised bed. So uh, always think about how you can use your, your garbage, and um, sometimes you'll get a good solution like this. And here's the new setup on the patio. We got these two wonderful chairs. And we purchased the pillows separately. They kind of strap on the top there. It was the only place where we thought it could use a little padding. But this is so much better than wrestling with chair covers and soggy cushions. These are really easy to wipe off. They're kind of water repellent. They just make little puddles when it rains. And then it dries quickly. So we are thrilled with this new setup. It's much easier to come out and sit and relax. And um, there's not an ordeal with preparing the seating anymore. And um, they were very easy to assemble. But we really like them and they look much better than some aging chairs, which uh, I have now turned into fantastic raised beds. So. We are thrilled with this, and I'm thrilled to have the setup on the side, which was previously a no man's land. So once that soil and mulch really breaks down, the wood chips break down, I will have some nice planting areas for zinnias or maybe even some pumpkins. We'll see, but um, in a couple years time, it should be really, really nice deep soil for planting. So guys, I just wanted to show you our new patio chairs, which I will put a link down below in the description box. These were from Amazon, and um, I will put an affiliate link in case you're interested in the chairs and or the cushions. They're sold separately, and um, we're going to enjoy using these. So I hope you're having fun in your garden and enjoying some milder weather. It seems to have cooled off here in Maryland after we've gotten a few days of rain. Thank goodness. I'll see you next time. Bye!